Hey guys, what's up? So we got to Abby Jen um, Ivory Coast not too long ago. We got a whole story for that, but um, pretty much we knew, we know some people down here. Um, we met them in 2014. Um, but I'm not gonna go into all that right now, but we're at our Airbnb kind of hotel type of thing. It was a last minute thing. Um, I guess I'll show you guys it real quick. I should have showed you guys before it got messy, but it is what it is, okay? Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna show you guys when it's daytime outside because the lights in here are super, super yellow, as you can see. So I'm gonna show you guys when it's daytime because I think the view's gonna be better and stuff as well. So I'll do that. But we're about to go get some food. I'm starving. We're all hungry. And we're gonna meet up with a few people. So see you guys when we get there. All right, guys. So we just made it to Bushman Cafe. It's so cute. It's like surrounded by all these trees and stuff. It's so cute. America, we're rising the world. You're okay? Hello. Thank you. This looks so freaking good. I got lamb and uh, I don't know what else is here. Yams, plantain, and salad. Shante got grilled fish. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Grilled fish. And Munchie got ginger. What'd you get? Ginger chicken. Ginger chicken. Looks so good. <laughs> So excited to dig in, y'all. So excited. Do a taste test right now. What's, what's this? Yeah. This is yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Only thing I like to see is Okay, guys. So we are leaving Bushman Cafe. It makes no sense. Bushman coffee and the food was so good. <laughs> Bushman coffee. <laughs> the food was actually really delicious. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased with my meal. The lamb was good, and uh, everything that came with it was good as well. So I think we're headed to another spot for like drinks or something. I'm not sure. So that is the plan. Was your food good? My food was so good. You guys know I'm so picky. The food was so good. <laughs> so good. But yeah, I don't think I told you guys. So we're with some people right now who... Okay, well, one of them we knew since 2014. We met in Cancun. And there was supposed to be somebody else who was supposed to come and like bring us everywhere and whatnot. But he ended up not coming anymore. He lives in London. So his brother, Karen, is actually bringing us around along with two of his other friends. So... Oh my gosh, there's a cat right there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's happening right now. So they're pretty much just showing us around um, Abidjan. How do you say it? Abid Abidjan? Abidjan. Um, so, yeah. A few moments later.
Okay guys, so we just got home. It was a great fun night. Yeah. We went to this place called The Clinic and it had like a doctor theme, which was so much fun. I'm gonna insert the clip now, but it was lit. It's 4.30. Nothing has changed. We oh said we were gonna God. go early. We wanted to go to bed early so we can be, you know, so prepare wait. ourselves for tomorrow. But um, yeah, we're gonna go to bed now. So good night. Love you guys. Good morning, guys. So it's day two here in Abidjan. Um, I'm just gonna sh quickly show you guys where we're staying at. Like I said, it was last minute, but it's it's pretty cool. So. This is our living room. Um, as you can see, we have a bed laid out because it's only a one bedroom. So this is the living room, TV. It is very messy because it's been lived in. Um, we got a kitchen right over here, which is nice. Has a fridge, microwave, stove, oven, everything you need, tea maker, all of that right here. So it's pretty modern. Um, and then off the living room right here, we have like a Juliet type balcony and you can see a view of, I guess, the lagoon. Let me open this though. Okay. So you can go outside a little bit, but not really. And this is our view. And then over here we have one bathroom. As you can see, we have a second bathroom slash poop closet right here. And then this is the one bedroom. Very, very messy. Sorry. Anyways, we are about to step out now and go to lunch with Roland, who's like a part of the crew um, taking us around Abidjan. So, let go. And bags, not boys. Straight up. Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now. I get paid, fake games, stay in peace. I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. So we just got to our destination. We're going to a Lebanese restaurant called La Terras. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not sure. But yeah, we're gonna eat here. So guys, we're pretty much in this area. It's sort of like a rooftop, but it's closed in, and you can do shisha. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice in here. It's really, really nice. Big screen TV, and then all their their menu is on like a iPad, which is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna get uh, the Lebanese, one of the Lebanese main dishes. I'm gonna get the mixed grill. It comes with um, lamb, chicken, um, beef, and then I'm gonna get a Greek salad with it as well. So we got our food, and I got the mixed chicken, and looks so well, the mixed meat or whatever it's called, and it looks so good. Got a lemonade and a Greek salad and some rice. Hey guys, so it is currently It is 4.30 in the morning and I'm actually about to go to bed. I was sleeping earlier and then I woke up and then I just chilled. The other girls went out to two clubs, 4040 and some other club. I can't remember what it's called, but honestly, I'm just so over partying right now. We've been like going out every single night. I just wanted a night to just relax and just chill, answer emails, watch YouTube videos and just lay in the bed, honestly. So... I decided to stay in. They're still out right now. I have no idea what time they're gonna come home because I heard that I Ivarian is it Ivorian Ivarian? I don't know. Ivory Coast people when they when they party, the party starts around like 12 to 2 a.m. and then they leave at like 7 a.m. in the morning. So I wasn't about to be about that life. So that's why I'm here in the bed. Hopefully the girls are having fun, but 
I just couldn't do it today. So I'm about to head to bed and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do. We might go to a Sydney beach, but I have no idea. We'll see where the wind takes us. So um, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. No, 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 no. Ok, ouais, c'est moi, c'est Clovis depuis Abidjan, Clovista. Mon Instagram, c'est Clovista. Toi même, tu connais. Je suis avec Chanté. Je suis avec la blogueuse. J'ai oublié son prénom, mais là, on a coupé l'autre. À Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire représente. Pa! Hey. <rire> oui, il y a une Côte d'Ivoire, Koukoué Lodge, Abidjan, Assini, I am with Chante and the, blo the, the other girl, I forgot her name. Shanice, Shanice. Ok. Je suis avec Shanice et puis là-bas c'est Chante. <rire> Et on est Assini, 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 Assini d'Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. Assini, Assini, Assini. Au bébé. <rire> Hey guys, so we just made it to a sea oh. and it's really really pretty out here. Nice. We're just relaxing by like this little cabana. Wow. We're gonna order some drinks and stuff. It's pretty late, honestly. We came here at like 4.30 p.m. which is late. <laughs> they stayed out till like uh, 6 a.m. in the morning, no, no, so we didn't get up until like late, 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 late. No, 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 no. But I enjoyed myself oh. just laying in the bed last night and sleeping, but um yeah, we're about to order some drinks and just and chillax. I have my bathing suit into this, but this looks like lagoon water, so I don't think I'm gonna go in. The water is pretty brown. We are going on the boat and we're going to the ocean side now, right? Right! <laughs> Okay guys, so we just took the boat, I guess from the lagoon. I forgot what he said it was called. What did he say? Ui ui? Kukui, kukui, something. I don't know, that's where we were. <laughs> I don't know. I cannot pronounce these words, but we're on the other side now, which is the beach side, which is really pretty. Um, before, I guess it was just the lagoon, but now we're on the beach side. Um, I wish we were here more like in the daytime when it was like sunny and stuff, but it's still nice weather which is nice hopefully there's still a lot of people here wow oh they have horseback riding oh my gosh it's so pretty guys look at this beach i gotta show you guys so pretty so beautiful Bonsoir, ici. Bonsoir, hello. Look, y'all, they have horseback riding. So cool. I never did horseback riding on the beach. It is so pretty. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oh my gosh, these waves, though. I don't think I can go in this water at all. I really like what you touch with me. I can't yeah. really explain it. I am so weak. <laughs> Love it. Let's set the tone. A bottle of red wine and pheromones. Conversation flows a couple of hours, see how it goes. I really trust my senses, catch me if I fall. So then we're second guessing, you seem to have it all. And loving the for anything emotional too soon. You got my invitation, now the rest is up to you. Kick it, rendezvous, make some time for me and you. Anyway, so we are now at a 
place called Bazaar. Our friend Clovis, 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 yeah, Clovis, 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 Clovis. So yeah, we are at Bazaar. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. How do you say it? Cheers. A million dollars. A million dollars. You said this is a local beer, right? Yes, thank you. This is supposed to be a local beer. Bofo. Bofo. How do you say cheers, though? Cheers. Oh, cheers. What do you guys say? We are about to eat is good up food. Good up, good up, good up. We got chicken, uh, fries. The food here has been so good. Oh my god. We are not living here. And we got some potato stuff. Looks good. The red one is hot sauce. How is it, Shante? Good up. Currently on the roadside right now. We're taking a four-hour drive to go to um, our friend Will Saha's orphanage. Um, his family runs it right now here in Ivory Coast, but it's like four hours outside of Abidjan. So that's where we're headed right now. So right now we're on the roadside buying some fruits and vegetables for the children who are there, which is really kind. Um, Karen, of course, is dropping us there. So that's what's happening right now. Shante's in the car. See, it's the foundation, Wilfred Zaha. They have pineapples. What is that? Avocado? Yeah. It's so big. Mm? What are these? Oh, yeah, only tart. Potato. Oh, never. White chin. White chin. White chin. Messi. What is that? It's just a notepad. I had some. Oh. Okay. Yes. When she's getting a pineapple, it's so yummy. My friend, Pumpkin? No. It's a gift? My, my it's a gift. Yes. <laughs> what is it? Oh, so hot. Is that, will that help? Oh. Oh. Hi. Baby. <laughs> so cute. Fresh fruit, y'all. No GMOs. Roadside living. Mm-mm. Mm. Karen said it wasn't even um fruit season, but the fruits are still really, really fresh. And sweet. So look at all the stuff that we're bringing to the orphanage. The kids are gonna be so happy. Yummy food. So guys, we just made it to tomorrow's hope. Um, orphanage it was like literally six hours away but we made it so right here they have the cribs for all of the babies there's so many babies we got to meet them but I didn't want to put them on camera I thought that was just a little intrusive we were holding them and everything and then they have the girls room over here and then the boys room over there this was so nice oh the little kids yeah, they even have a one-year-old baby here that somebody just dropped off and just left them. So freaking sad, but it's so nice that they just took them in. So, oh my god, I don't, I don't want to leave, but we have to go because it's six hours away. Oh, it's supposed to be four, but the roads and everything were really bad. So, and all the kids are supposed to be coming home from school soon, but 
Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. So today's our last day in Abidjan, Ivory Coast, and we're about to head back to Ghana. And then the next day, we're going to Kumasi, which is also in Ghana, for two nights. And then we're headed to Nigeria. It's been a long trip. We were so tired after coming back from um the orphanage which honestly they said it took four hours it was four hours away but honestly because of the roads and the traffic it took like six hours to get there and like maybe like five hours to get back so it was extremely long on the way there on the way back we stopped at like a food place and we had some pizza and we had some like shawarma it was like a nice cute outdoor place um and then we just came home and slept we were honestly gonna try to go out but we were so extremely 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 tired so that didn't happen but like i said we had an amazing time at the orphanage um just seeing the children we also donated as well so that was nice um it was a great experience i wish we got to spend more time but it's it's okay it's okay and like i said i couldn't really show you guys the kids and everything because i just felt that was super super intrusive and because we weren't really like so like we were like holding them and like trying to talk but obviously they're like babies a lot of them are babies and then some of them they went through really really traumatic experiences because so they created the orphanage because there was a war in 2002 and i think it ended like 2000 and after 2005 sometime um it was between the muslims um well this is what karen told me between the muslims and the christians and so many people died like a lot of people died and were left without um children were left without parents and um one of the children actually their parents got killed right in front of them like literally right in front of them and now she does now she does not talk or anything at all she just she's mute um which was so like wow I just couldn't even fathom going through that and for a little child to go through that was just so I don't even know the words for it but it didn't bring me a good feeling and I felt really really sad and everything so I didn't I didn't want to pull out a camera on them or anything like that it was just too much so a lot of the kids have traumatic experiences a lot of them also um, the babies especially their parents just drop them off at the door at the orphanage and just leave them and the thing is is that the orphanage is only so big so a lot of the kids they have to deny because there's not enough space um so now they're going to try to create like a bigger bigger orphanage for them um or like a space for them so hopefully that's in the work soon because the situation is just super super sad um and there's like i think there was about i think they said 33 kids that are there right now um which even in that space i don't see how everyone fits but you know they're doing what they can they're, they have a they get a lot of donations um and i just had i feel like i had to do my part i couldn't come to africa um without doing something like charity wise so anyways that was a great experience and i was so happy that we got to go there even though it was six hours away it was totally worth it but um, we're about to go to the airport, actually, and head back to Ghana. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was pretty short. Pretty much all we did was eat. We went to eat. I clubbed once and ate some more, ate some more, and more and more and more. The food here in Ivory Coast, bomb, 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 bomb. Honestly, better than in Ghana so far, like, to be honest. The food here was just amazing. Every place that we went to, the food was Ooh, so freaking good but i don't know if it's the food or what but ever since we came here we all been having like stomach problems like our stomach is just like it's like gassy and it just hurts randomly munchy just got sick like sniffle sick like <laughs> it's a roller coaster when you travel but <laughs> we're having a lot of fun so anyways i'm gonna end the vlog here and i will see you in the next one you know